Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Falls Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a reading that is destined to the side of Pisces. So my dear friend Pisces, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So it's really important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If you do have any questions, if you would like to contact me, you would like to have your own personal reading, please do so. My information is right below into the YouTube description box and the list of the readings that I do offer is also there. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And it is always and greatly appreciated. And I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. This is a reading about cheating. So this is not for you if you already know that they're cheating and you have the proof. This is if you're suspicious, you don't quite know yet. So let's go and find out. I'm using three different decks. Uh, I'm finishing it off with a light, lovely uh, love and soul oracle message. So we are going to begin with a Lenormand and then we're going to finish up with the angel um, messages and the angel, well, romance angels and angel messages. Let's begin with Lenormand. We have a compass followed by a man, a child, a bridge, swans, anchor, dice, so dog, snake, birds, and a boat. Okay, so this is unfortunately the answer. Um, snakes not very good to have into readings. Uh, snakes biting into apples, neither. Um, this is all about um, not resisting to temptation, so falling into temptation. So yes, I do have to say, my dear friend Pisces, that uh, the relationship that you are in right now, if you do have any doubts knowing you know, what is going on and you don't quite have the proof, it is time to start looking for a little bit more proof if you do want this situation to um, rectify itself for you. Um, because there is clearly, it is denoted that there is cheating going on into this relationship. Um, I feel as though there's a lot of gossiping going around. And maybe this is why you actually got the idea that maybe there is some cheating going around. Maybe somebody saw something or maybe somebody heard something and it kind of, you know, just uh, brought upon this subject for you. And you're wondering, oh, is, you know, is he or she cheating? What is going on? But you don't quite have that proof because they're actually being quite good at hiding, you know, whatever they are doing. But um, this is truly all about this gossip. So there's gossiping. There's a chair chatter going around. Um, so you do need to uh, look around. OK, you do need to try and find whatever is going on. I feel like your ship, your boat is slowly leaving. I feel like your your relationship is slowly slipping away. That being said, um, I feel as though they really are quite serious. I feel as though um, right now they, I feel like they're not, they're not, they're not sorry for what they're doing. I think that they, they know that it's not okay. They do love you, but they're really, really narcissistic and ego centered and they, it's not creating them a problem whatsoever. They figure, you know, nobody's ever going to find out. And if anybody does find out, well, we'll deal with it then. But for the moment, it is, you know, quite frankly, doing just fine for their own needs. So this is about somebody, uh, maybe a he or she, who is being very, very, very selfish, not thinking about you whatsoever. Um, so, you know, this is what is going on with over here. So it's making for an unhappy home. It's making for barriers that are going up. Whatever it is that you were promised, these illusions, they are simply not going to um, not going to come to fruition. I do not believe so. I do believe that whenever you do truly find out um, with your proof that there is something going on, that this is going to be the end. This is usually an ending card to a situation. So whenever you do find that information, I think you're not going to accept it and you are going to um, you're going to tell this person that, you know, your partner, that you deserve better. This is just not acceptable and you are moving on. Um, as much as it's something that you don't want to do, I think it's something that you are going to end up doing. 
Um, right now, it's very difficult at home. I find as though there's a lot of tension, there's a lot of stress, there are there is some fighting, but I don't believe that you talk about it all that often. I think maybe you've had a fight or two, but not that much. But still, it stays inside you. The vibes, everything is there. The energy is quite uh, quite heavy. It's quite palpable. And just because of that energy, just because of that negativity that is around, it just keeps swirling around and everybody can feel it even if it is not said. It comes into the non-said, of course, the non-verbal. So there is a choice. I believe that everybody pretty much knows that there is going to be a choice to be made here. Um, you're going to make that in due time. I do believe, though, that love is slowly leaving right now um i think it's really important to try and look to try and see what plan you know b c and d are um so you don't have to worry about that at that time uh, so i am going to put these away for the moment um we pretty much got the information that we want to have yes we've confirmed that unfortunately there is something going on we confirmed that there is some uh, gossip this is really a throw the dice. Is this going to go for the positive or for the negative? Are you going to stay together or not? Well, that is going to be completely up to you. But quite frankly, um, if you don't break up right away, it is going to be not long after. This is really about the ending of the relationship. Um, we're going to move on to the um, we're going to move on to the romance angels, and then we're going to go and see what the um, what the angels have to say to you. Oops. Let's go see over here. We have retreat, we have deception, free yourself, and you deserve love. So, yes, the, the romance angels are telling you that you are absolutely lovable and you deserve love. Now, when we speak about love, we really truly speak about love. Love of yourself, love of somebody who loves you, but for who you are, but ultimately with trust and with justice and with being, you know, um, everything balanced off. Um, also, and with great respect. It is might be time to have some sort of retreat, might be time to have some kind or after you find your proof, it might be a good moment to just take a little bit of time by yourself, each on your own, to try to assess your new um, your new situation and where you want to move forward with this. Because right now, yes, it is saying here there is deception and you do need to free yourself. It is time for you to take back control of your life and that somebody is wearing a false mask into this relationship. Um so the romance angels are correlating with the Norman. Let's go see what the uh, angel answers have to say. They are speaking about recovery. It's up to you. Meditation, near future, and look for a sign. So looking for a sign is clearly about you trying to find your information, trying to find your proof, trying to find anything that you can to try and give some kind of substance, some kind of reason to what you're bringing upon as accusations. Um it is completely up to you what is going to be happening with this relationship also. Uh, it is your decision if it's, uh, you know, you stay or you go. Uh, in the near future, everything is going to become clear. If you do do any type of meditation, any type of yoga, anything that is self-centered to yourself to try and find your answers, to listen to your intuition, it could be a really good moment to do that, to try and find those answers that you're seeking for. Um, and it could be a really good beginning also for a recovery for you because if you stay or if you go, you're still going to be having that period of recovery, of renewal. Um, so that being said, this does conclude this reading. No, I'm sorry. I do have my lovely light and soul. Light and soul. Do not discount your imagination for it is through an inspired thought that something beautiful is created. You will soon be inspired by inner vision. And this is what the angels were saying. Your imagination is real. It can and will become your reality. And if you trust in the power of love, the imagination is a magical and a creative force that is full of endless possibility. So on those beautiful words, I do wish you much courage, much love, much strength. Um, if you do have any doubts, you would like your own reading, please do contact me. It will be a pleasure to assist you. Um, in the meanwhile, I thank you for being there. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow with new messages.